everyone. So last week I flew to London on behalf of Universal Picture Switzerland and I attended a makeup workshop for the upcoming movie The Mummy. I met Lizzie Giorgio who is the key makeup artist who worked on the film and we got to really pick her brains and learn all about the various techniques and the products that she used on Sofia Butella who is the actress playing Princess Amanet. It was so fascinating to learn about all the inspirations that she used to develop the various looks. Everything from ancient Egyptian artifacts to modern day fashion trends. Today I'm going to recreate the look shown to us by Lizzie Giorgio and of course add my own little spin on things. Now I was provided with a set of the exact same products that Lizzie also used on set and most of the products are by MAC Cosmetics. So let's get started with this Princess Amanet look from the movie The Mummy. First off, I'm going to cover up my eyebrows and I'm going to use the very cheap but very effective glue stick method. So you want to use just a very uh, regular water soluble glue stick and then brush your hair in place with the glue. Then I'm going to use a setting powder. This is the Invisible Set by MAC. And this is just going to set the glue before I'm moving on to the next step. Then you're going to use a full coverage concealer and just go over it and this should really cover up most of the color of your brows. Now I'm just using a makeup sponge to blend in the concealer. And that didn't cover things quite enough for me so I went in with sort of a pink salmon tone color concealer that I actually custom blended myself and I just applied that on top. That is going to cover up the rest of the color and really make my brows sort of disappear. Once again I used the beauty blender sponge just to kind of dab things in and blend it out. And then follow up again with some setting powder just to set everything in place. Now I'm going to move on to the foundation. Now we were actually given this custom blended foundation at the workshop and it's basically just a very, very light tone color. Um, I think they just used a regular foundation and then blended in white because obviously I'm trying to look like a mummy that is dead. But you can of course custom blend your own color or even use like a face paint or something like that. And I am applying this all over my chest because I'm gonna be doing some painting on my chest and neck area. And then I went ahead and just applied it on the rest of my face and make sure not to miss any areas like, you know, around the nose, around your ears and stuff like that because otherwise that illusion is going to be shattered when your actual real skin color shows through. Then I actually used a sponge just to kind of blend it out and make it appear a little bit more smooth. Now this is another shade that we were given at the conference or at the workshop. So it's kind of like this zombie color. There's a little bit of a green tone in this actually, which gives that kind of deadish look. Um, but again, you can easily make this color yourself with face paints, like from a Halloween store or something like that. Um, basically, you just want it to have a slightly greenish, grayish cast. Did it on my face and then just random spots um, all over my chest because um, I kind of want just little spots of that mixed in with the light foundation color. And then again, I went in with the setting powder and just set everything. You want to use quite a bit of powder because you used quite a lot of cream products now or these liquid products. So really make sure it's really set and dry as a bone before moving on to the next step. So now I'm going to contour with this eyeshadow. This is actually called Copper Plate. It's also by MAC. I wish this came in like a large format because this is the perfect shade for a ghostly sort of zombie contour. Um, it's kind of like a grayish brown shade and I'm using that to contour my face because Obviously I want to look very sort of hollowed out as if I've been rotting in a sarcophagus for this <laughs> centuries or whatever. So I'm using, um, yeah, that copper plate color is perfect and just really hollowing out my cheekbones and then also contouring along my chin line. Now you can really go all out with this contour and go super dark and intense. The more you do it, the more ghostly and the more hollowed out you're going to look. And I actually also contoured along my neck. So I kind of sucked in my neck and then contoured 
everywhere where it kind of goes inside, like the little hollows at my neck, basically, I use that contouring product as well. And that works really great. And it kind of makes you look sunken in and very emaciated. And I also did a little bit of contouring underneath my lip. This is going to look really cool at the end. It just kind of makes a very shadowy, deadish look and also kind of into the nostrils. I know that's kind of weird, but it definitely makes it look very ghostly and spooky. And then I also contoured with a smaller brush around the side of my nose and like around my nostrils. Now I'm going to use the same contouring color, the copper plate eyeshadow, and I'm really going to give myself some super dark under eye circles. This is really the time where you want those dark under eye circles to come out um, because I want to look like I haven't had a good night's sleep. I just want to look very dead and um, this is perfect. So I'm using a big brush and just really packing that on on the lower eye area. And then I'm also starting to kind of carve out my eye just to kind of make it look very shadowy and contoured and looks like, you know, just very sickly and unhealthy and dead. Now we were given this eyeshadow palette with four different eyeshadows inside. I'm going to have the exact names listed below this video in the info bar. And I'm going in with the white matte shade here um, and I'm going to highlight with this. So I did some on my nose and now I'm applying some of that white matte shadow on my cheekbones and kind of underneath the contour as well, just to make that contour a little bit more I don't know, standing out. So now I'm going to do my brows with the MAC Chroma Line in the shade Black Black. I think this might be a pro product, I'm not completely sure, but it's basically like a cream black product, like a multi-purpose product, and I'm using a very precise angled brush, and I'm going to give myself some very stark black feathery looking brows and the trick to this is to make them sort of Vulcan shaped like they don't really have an arch they kind of just go straight out um, so I'm really kind of replicating Princess Aminette's look that's her her brows kind of go straight out in this ever so slight curve but very very defined and feathery brows so I'm using just the brush for this and this is why I covered my own natural brows so that you can't really see them as well and I'm just adding some details on the inner brow area just to really make it look like there's actual hair there. I think they just look very cool and artistic. I kind of want those brows like in everyday life. <laughs> so now I'm gonna go in with the white eyeshadow again and I'm going to highlight and I'm actually gonna highlight all along that sort of fake brow um, to make it really look like um, you know, very highlighted on the upper area. And then I'm going to add a bit more depth to the contour and I'm kind of drawing out the eyeshadow in a sort of cat shape, sort of a very like extended eyeshadow shape. So it's almost going to the temples. And then I picked up the other gray eyeshadow in this palette and I'm going to start deepening up the crease with a big fluffy brush. Then I took the dark gray in here and I'm going to apply this all over my lid. And this is really just building the smokiness. So I'm starting you know, to add more and more depth to the eye. Now if I could go back and do something a little bit differently, I would probably add a, like a creamy black base underneath just so that it's easier to intensify the colors because I kind of forgot to do that step, but you know, I kind of built it up, but it would just have been easier with a black base. So you can see I'm kind of making my eyes look darker and spookier and always blending and just adding more color. Now I'm applying a black liner on my waterline because Princess Aminette definitely has some very Egyptian looking eyes um, with that very dark black coal liner. So I've added that onto my waterline and also on the lower lash line and I'm just going to use a pencil brush and smudge that out for a very smoky, smudgy look. And now I'm going to do a very extended winged liner shape, kind of very, you know, Egyptian inspired. Um, she definitely has some rock and black eyeliner going on in the movie. So I used the, I think it's called the penultimate liner um, by MAC. And I have to admit this wasn't like my favorite liner, but it's very perfect for making a very precise 
shape like you can really taper out the edge into a very sharp sharp wing so that was really cool next I'm using the hot and naughty waterproof lash mascara and I'm applying a thick coat on the top and bottom lashes and I actually did apply some false lashes now I didn't want to do anything too crazy with the lashes I didn't want them to like overpower the whole look so these are just some very sort of natural looking lashes because I don't want it to like kind of cover up all the eye makeup and then I used the penultimate liner again and just covered up any of the glue. It's actually perfect for that because the tip is very precise. And then I actually used a lipstick by Smashbox because I just felt this was perfect for it. This in the shade Punked Matte. It's kind of a gray toned, taupey gray lipstick that was perfect for this. I just dabbed it on ever so lightly and then used my finger to blend it out. So I'm not getting like an opaque payoff here. I want it to look almost just like a stain or something like that and to enhance that look I used some of the black eyeshadow and just applied it in the center so you're kind of getting a reverse ombre look like the darkness is in the center so for the runes that are on Princess Amonette's face, we were actually given these stencils and these are the exact letters that were used on um, Princess Amonette, but they were applied a little bit differently. I mean, we were just given these stencils in the actual movie. They use um, some kind of product that makes them look 3D, so they were actually standing out from her face. This is kind of a simplified version. These are just, the, they're the same letters. Pressed that on my face and used the um, chromaline. Yeah, so in the movie it's a little bit different. Like it actually is like 3D. They actually use like a paste that they apply every single day and um, applied each letter individually to her skin. So that was actually really interesting to know that. You know how they made the mold for it. They had like a proper mold, which they had to apply then each um, letter on the actress's body like every for every shoot so this was really fun of course if you don't have the stencil you can just like make up some ruins or just make up some letters I mean I don't think anyone's gonna be looking too closely so the placement is basically on her cheeks on her forehead um, down her body like her neck le neckline and then also on her chin and lastly, I just set everything again with some setting powder, and this is really just to make it a bit more long lasting. So I just put on my black wig, and then the look is done. So I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, please remember to give a thumbs up, leave me a comment, and subscribe to my channel. I can't wait to see the movie. If any of you are planning to watch it, let me know in the comments, and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye, everyone. You have no idea what you have unleashed. What the hell? How did you get out of that plane? There's not a single scratch on your body. You are alive because you were cursed. Cursed? By what? The ultimate evil. Welcome to a new world of gods and monsters. You saw that, right? <laughs> she did something to me. The very essence of evil calls to you now.